But good morning, everybody. I just thought I finished recording and hadn't pushed the start button. So, Steve Hailstone here. It is Saturday, April 15th. And I am at Gallaudet University. Just finished a five-mile outing or so. Um, went down here from the university, uh, probably about a mile and a half away to the capital. And I went around the Capitol, down the Washington Mall, just a little bit down to the, um, almost to the Smithsonian Castle. It's interesting, they have some uh, souped up cars that are on display. I only saw one, it was a low rider, uh, pink colored. I took a photo of it, so I'll post those on Instagram, kind of what I saw this morning on my run. Um, nice morning, It's it was in the mid-50s when I took out took off it's supposed to reach around 75 today it's cloudy right now and um, tomorrow it's supposed to be 85 for Easter wow we arrived here yesterday afternoon we took off in the morning and hit some pretty heavy traffic south of the Christiana Mall in Delaware and that was stop and go for a, a long time until the Aberdeen Aberdeen Proving Grounds in Maryland then after that, uh, traffic opened up a little bit. So, um, so we just have been here at the the Kellogg Center. It's a, I guess, like a convention center. Well, it, it's it's an event center, I guess. And they have um, they have rooms, and they it's it's available on Hotels.com. The one thing that we are disappointed in is the high cost of parking on campus. So they have a parking garage, and it's $30 a night. So I opted to try the impossible, and that was find off-campus parking not far away in a place that I felt it would be safe. Well, I found it, and um, the car, I have been by it a couple of times this morning, the car is, it looks unscathed. So um, it's about a half mile walk, I'd say from where we're staying. Um, so this morning I went uh, on that jog and uh, came back up and the rest of the day we are planning to meet up for brunch with our sons and their fiancés over in not Alexandria, Virginia. Um, shoot, Arlington. That's it. Arlington at a, a restaurant there. And so um, we'll meet up with them around 11, 11.15. And then we will go from there to the, the National Zoo. It's free. It's part of the Smithsonian Institution. So we'll spend some time there. And then we will go over to the National Cathedral. Both my wife and I have been both of those places before. We, we came here for our anniversary one year. Stayed in the... Uh, Hilton or Marriott or something like that that's in that vicinity and so everything was within walking distance um, yeah and then tonight we have a service that our son's church puts on with some other churches called a vigil it was a very special service last year that we attended so we wanted to come back for that Last night they had a Good Friday service. I guess they also had a Maundy Thursday service, so I think they have services four days in a row at Easter time, but um, not normally. But we enjoyed last night's service, and uh, tonight's service is a really big, it's one of the big things on the church's activity calendar, a really big celebration. So really looking forward to that. Then tomorrow morning, um, because we need to head back to Pennsylvania, uh, we will be attending... Capitol Hill Baptist Church for Easter, and that is about two and a half blocks from where our son lives, and um, we will then go to lunch and then head back home. So it just so happens that my birthday is on Easter this year, so tomorrow I, I turn 54. So looking forward and very thankful to be with family. So we were here a year ago. I was wearing a uh, the monitor and defibrillator, so I had to carry that around everywhere I went, so it's really nice to be 
free of that, being able to drive this year, didn't couldn't drive last year. Um, yeah, so good days, and um, hope everybody has a, a wonderful Easter. If you listen to this before Easter, hope you all are uh, giving some contemplation of uh, Christ's death for us, and then uh, celebrate tomorrow his resurrection and promise to us as well. So this is Steve from Gallaudet University, uh, a university for the deaf. I don't know if it's strictly for deaf people these days, but anyway, it's, uh, it's, its founding was for the deaf community. And um, yeah, so we'll pick back up again next time. So thanks for listening. This is Steve. Bye-bye.